let's add a splash image here. Now a splash image is like the images you see on my site. And there's a couple of ways for us to do this. I think perhaps the easiest way to add a splash image is to do it inside the media library. And so we can add a new item. And we'll select the file. And let's see. Websites, BYOB website, uh, videos, and then live answers, and LA39, right? Part one. And then let's see, my splash image was right there. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save all. Ch well, I'm going to catch, catch, get the address now, and hit save all changes. And um, that's interesting. What size did it say it is? 560 by 420. Okay. So then if we go back to our posts and we edit that case study, let's uh, change this. So we put our splash image here. And then let's go back over there and see if I can't just steal this again. It is a little odd behavior here. Inability to hang on to that address. So, video. And let's do this, though. It was 560 by 480. Well, yeah, let's just save it like that. So let's go ahead and insert update. And then view the post. And so now you can see that, you know, this one doesn't have a splash screen. It's just got the big white thing. This one has the splash screen. And obviously I've got the size not right. It wasn't, it must have been 540. Oh, I've got height and width wrong. Isn't that crazy? The Oh no. So what did that video what because okay, well if it's four to three, if the width is five hundred and forty five hundred and forty divided by four times three is four oh five. I see. got the wrong size image there. That's what the deal is. Five forty by four oh five. If we update that and then view the post. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks like it's supposed to look. When you're manually setting your size, you do need to make sure that you have the right aspect ratio for the image or for the video.